All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are uh, going to be continuing my everyday dialogues uh, section. And uh, uh, today, we will be talking about making a grocery list, OK? And the, the different words uh, we have for things, OK? Not just uh, we call this an apple, and we call this a pear, and this is a potato. Okay. Uh, yes, we can talk about those things, but uh, uh, we can also talk about a jar of jam. Okay, a jar of jam. It's a small container uh, that uh, that you have jam in. So uh, other other words that you may not uh, you may not know. Okay. So that's uh, that's the the goal here. We're going to uh, uh, take a look at uh, a dialogue, learn some new vocabulary words, and see. Um, uh, check out some new ways of saying uh, saying some of these words. The uh, the link is in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up. I'll also put it in the Google chat box for you. Okay, and let's see here. Um, Amparo, welcome back to class. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Lily, how you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Good, good to see you again. Thank I'm you. doing good. Sounds like you're having breakfast right now. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, and my breakfast is uh, being made right now. I'm having a pineapple smoothie this morning. I'm starving. Uh, so, yes, my wife is going to make me a pineapple smoothie. I'm very happy. Uh, very good. Let's go to Jose. How are you? Hello. I'm quite well. Sad. I'm ready for your class. Excellent. Good to have you back. Uh, let's see, Bibiana, how are you? Good, thanks, Ted. Awesome. Bibiana is one of our excellent Spanish teachers here at Verbling. Thank you. Yeah, it's my first time in your class now. Great. It's good to have you here. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Jung Woon? How are you? Hi, I'm great. Excellent. Okay, let's go to Vincenzo Santorsola. <laughs> Hi, Chad. Nice to see is, you again. Good to see you as well. Your last name is so much fun to say. There's a, there's words that are that are that are fun to say, and your last name is one of them. Uh, <laughs> good good to have you back, man. <laughs> Thanks. All right. How about uh, now? Is your name uh, uh, Kanir? Connard? Or uh, can I say that uh, like a gringo and say canner? Nope. Okay, check your check your mic and make sure that uh, you are not muted. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Uh, Rosie. Rosie just stepped in, so she may have to wait until she uh, can unmute herself. Okay, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Okay, uh, Connard, let me try you one more time. Is your microphone working? Yeah, hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Great. Uh, how, how do I pronounce your name correctly? Uh, Janet. Ha, <laughs> okay, I was very wrong on that. So, Janet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Janet, and where are you from? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Okay, how's everything going there? I've seen uh, the news. Is it uh, pretty crazy? Yeah, uh, very crazy. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. Uh, be safe. No problem. All right. Um, let's see. Rosie, how are you? Hello? Rosie? Hi there, Rosie. Hello? How are you? I'm doing well. Good. How are uh, you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Rosi, where are you from? I'm from Argentina. From Argentina, one of my favorite places. Uh, what part of Argentina? Uh, Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. What part of Buenos Aires? Um, is, I'm now living in Capital Federal, in downtown. I'm living okay. in province. What province? Called San Miguel. Ah, I've been to San Miguel. Yeah, I lived in uh, oh, really? Jose Cepas. Uh -huh. uh, yes. I've been to Jose Cepas, Del Viso, and yeah. Oh, what's over there by Del Viso? 
El Viso and oh, I can't I'm, remember. I'm uh, living near. I, I'm living near Be Bella Vista, Bella Vista. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So I yeah I lived in uh, I lived in Buenos Aires for two years. Um, oh, great. So yeah, I uh, I was in cap the capital for a bit, and then out in uh, in the province, and then I was also in uh, Campana and Sarate for a time. So yeah, great. I kind of traveled throughout throughout. Yeah, it's a great great place. Love it. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, okay. Nice to meet you. This is my first class with you. Very good. Well, I'm glad I'm glad to have you here. Uh, thank you. Okay, you guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. The uh, the link. I'll put it one more time in the chat box. Okay, go ahead and open that up. And we'll go here. Let me uh, zoom in just a touch. Okay, so uh, let's scroll down. Okay, we are going to be talking about uh, making a grocery list and uh, some of the words that we can use. Okay, and also uh, 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 we'll go through a dialogue and talk about the different ways to say things. Okay, all right, so scroll down. We are going to past page two. Okay. And, or sorry, page one, page two as well, and uh, come here to our um, vocabulary. Okay, so uh, in this vocabulary, we are going to match the quantity with the product. Okay, so uh, for example, when we talk about um, these different products, they go in certain types of containers, okay, or we talk about them in a certain quantity, okay, a, an amount. All right, so we're going to talk about those just a little bit. Okay, uh, let's start off with number one. Okay, and we want to match it, match it with the word over on the right. Okay, uh, Amparo, uh, let's start with you. Number one, please. Two. Okay. Two. F. Toothpaste. Good, yeah. So it is a tube of toothpaste. Okay, let's take a look here. So class, we call this a tube. This here is a tube. It doesn't matter how big or small that it it is. We call this a tube of toothpaste. Okay? And uh, plural, we would say uh, tubes of toothpaste and not tubes of toothpastes. Okay? We would only uh, make tubes plural. Okay, uh, let's go to number two, and this is for Viviana. Okay, uh, the, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dozen? Okay. Oh, very close. Um, Duh. Dozen, dozen. Dozen, dozen. Uh huh, dozen. Dozen. Uh huh. Eggs, okay. I think. Yeah, good. So, eggs. Okay, so dozen eggs. Now, with the word eggs, there's two pronunciations, all right? Um, so there are some people that say eggs, and they pronounce that with a short E sound. In my family, we say eggs, okay? And eggs. we pronounce it with a, a long A. Don't know why, that's just the way we pronounce it, okay? <laughs> so okay. we say eggs, all right? Other people say eggs. Either way is just fine, okay? okay. So yes, a dozen. How many yes. is a dozen? How many is a dozen, Bibiana? Yes, 12. Okay, so 12. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at a picture here, you guys. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Let me go here. Okay, so. Dozen eggs. So 12 eggs. They, we, they usually are sold in a container that looks like this. Okay, a dozen eggs. Now, rarely you will able be able to uh, buy them individually. Okay, uh, right now I buy my eggs in a bag. Okay, so I buy them uh, buy them by the kilo is how they sell them here in Costa Rica. Okay, so I buy them by the kilo. I can also buy a huge thing like this uh, with like thirty six eggs. Okay, um, but uh, we used to do that and then we stopped. Okay, so yes, uh, this would be a dozen eggs. Okay, now we would also call this 
a carton. Okay, a carton of eggs. Okay, so I need one carton of eggs. That would be one dozen. Okay, when I was uh, when I was training heavily and I was lifting a lot of weights. Okay, and focusing on that, I would eat one carton of eggs per day. Okay, I ate a lot. I ate a lot because it had a lot of protein. Okay, so one carton a day. Okay, so yes, we would say one carton. Okay, or one dozen. Okay, all right. Let's go to our next one here. Okay, so uh, dang it, you said uh, ja Janet or Janet? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, number three. Uh, number three is a can. Is correct? Yeah, can. Can. Um, uh, answer is uh, a tuna. Yeah, a can of tuna. What yeah. is tuna, Janet? Um. I think uh, say um, f fish, carp, okay. uh, fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fish. Okay, Fishes. so okay, uh, uh, fish is plural. So we would say fish or fish. Okay, if we see a uh, five million three hundred thousand fish, okay, it's still fish. We would we would not say fishes. Okay, so a. Okay. This, you guys, is tuna. Yum, yum. I love tuna. Okay? So, yeah, that's right. So, Kitty. Kitty likes tuna as well. This is when I see tuna, I make this face. All right? Mmm, tuna. Okay, so, yes, this is a can. What else can we buy in a can? What else can we put, uh, put or buy in a can, class? Beans. Beans. Beans go in a can, yeah. Okay, what else? How about soup? Sometimes you can buy soup. Um, beans, uh, let's see here. Janet, let me show you. Hmm. Yeah. Tomato sauce. Okay. Yeah, tomato sauce. So, Janet, Corn. these are these are beans. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So canned goods. So uh, you guys are saying corn. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some vegetables, tomato sauce. We've got tomato sauce back here. Okay. Here's some beans, some Goya beans. Okay. Um, carrots. Okay. These would be cans. Okay. Yeah. Cans of, uh, of soup, cans of vegetables. All right. Now, uh, up here, I wrote in a word. Okay, this is called canned goods. Canned goods. Now, when uh, when you go to the store, you may see that word up on a sign up high. It may say canned goods up at the top. All right. So if you see canned goods, that's where you want to go. Uh, you all you may also see canned vegetables. Vegetables. Canned vegetables. So if you need some carrots or peas, uh, maybe beans, things like that, canned vegetables. Okay. So okay. that's a, that's how it how it would be spelled, and you would see that up on a on a sign up high. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And you say a can of coke. Coca-Cola? Yeah, a can of Coke. Yeah. I love it. Uh, better yet, a can of Coke Zero. Okay, so we got it. We have to eliminate the calories there. <laughs> All right. So yes, a can of Coke. All right. The same. That's a, it, yes, it would be the same. Okay. So soda, soda can be purchased in a can as well. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So Jose, your turn here. Uh, let's go to number four. Number four, maybe a bar of peanut butter. Uh, no, peanut butter is uh, is different. Okay, peanut butter uh, mm. is more of a spread. Okay, usually when you talk about a bar, it's something that's hard. 
Okay, not really hard. You can still break it, but it's uh, it's pretty uh, it's pretty solid. A bar. Okay. Uh, of these items here, what would be something that is solid? It's solid. Yeah, solid that that you can't uh, break very easily. Mm. Tuna. Okay, uh. tuna. But that's a can. That's a can, and tuna itself yes. is really flexible, okay, because it's fish. Have, have, have an, how about, how about when you take eat. a shower? When you take a shower and you have to wash your arms, you wash your hands, what do you use to wash your hands? This of a detergent. Um, it, okay, detergent is a type of this. Okay, let's see. let's see. Can anybody help us out? What word are we looking for? Soap. 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 Letter G. Yeah, oh. soap. Jose, look here. This word is soap. It is not soup. That is soap. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look. And hopefully I don't uh, terrible things. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Chef? Yes. Can be a cereal bar? Yeah, okay, so we'll talk about other types of bars as well, okay? So, um, uh, bar, this is a bar of soap, okay? That, that's my, this is the kind I use right here, Irish Spring. Leaves me smelling fresh and delicious, yes, okay? I, I love this smell, delicious. Irish Spring, okay? I love it, okay? Um, we also have, what other kinds of soap is there? Oh, Dove, Dove is great. Okay. I don't know. No. Okay. All right. There, so there's all sorts of different types of bars of soap. Okay. Now remember, you guys, when we pluralize these, okay, we do not pluralize our noun. Okay. It it it, it would be bars of soap and not bars of soaps. Okay. We only say bars. Bars of soap. Okay, so yes. Now, uh, the other things that uh, that can be bars. Okay, Bibiana said cereal bar. Whoops. Okay, cereal bar. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it has uh, some oats, uh, oats and nuts, and uh, maybe a little bit of honey. Okay, things like that. This is a cereal bar. What other type of items that uh, that we can eat are bars? Chocolate. Yeah, I was waiting for that one. Chocolate bar. <laughs> okay, chocolate bar. Mm-hmm. My favorite. Okay, but I like it with a little bit of either caramel or dulce de leche. That is my favorite. Okay, so yes, a chocolate bar. We would call call this a bar of chocolate. Okay, what else? What else can we buy that is in a bar that we can eat? Anything else? There aren't there aren't too many things. Okay, but yeah, so cereal bar, chocolate bar, a uh, bar of soap. <clears throat> those are going to be the most uh, the oh, most common. Sorry, chat. Only yes. only to eat or for other things? Uh, for other things as well. Yeah. What do you a think? A bar of gold. <laughs> a bar of of gold. <laughs> yeah, very good. A bar we cannot, of gold. We cannot eat, but. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Hey, if I if I had a, cho a choice between uh, yeah eating and a bar of gold, I'd choose the bar of gold. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Cool. Nice. Uh, nice one there. Let's go to John Moon. Okay, okay. John Moon. Uh, yeah. Number five, please. Okay. Uh, love. Mm -hmm. Love of bread. H. Good. Yes, a loaf of bread. Loaf. Right. Yes. Okay, so that's how we uh, loaf of. Uh, here we are. First one at the top. Loaf of bread. Okay. So um, even uh, even if it's a, a large size or a small size. Okay. Uh, when bread is made. Okay. Mm. We call this a loaf. 
a loaf of bread. Okay, mm -hmm. all different sizes, uh, all different kinds. Okay, and uh, Rosie, still in my opinion, the best bread I have ever eaten in my whole entire life is in Argentina. Really? Uh, oh, jeez. I, I I would. Oh, man, I'd do anything to eat that bread again. Jeez, no one believes me either. Uh, even when I go to, uh, there's an Argentine restaurant here in Costa Rica uh, that I take my wife to uh, every once in a while. And uh, the, the owner there is from, um, where is he from? Um, Rosario. And, uh, yeah. and I asked him, I was like, can you please... You know, I don't care if you import it or something, because he says that the the bread that they have is just like I said. It's not like it. No, it tastes different. It tastes better. It tastes better there in Argentina, and it, it's it's something in the bread. It's soft and and made of heaven and and just good. I, I can't even explain it. Okay, but yes, it's uh, it's awesome. So yes, class, uh, we would call this uh, we would call these loaves loaves of bread. Okay, so plural, loaves with a V, loaves. Okay, so um, for example, my family here, we eat uh, two loaves of bread a week. Loaves, all right, that's how we would spell that. One loaf, one loaf, okay, many loaves. Okay, very good. Let's go to Lily. Yeah. All right, Lily, number six, please. Jar. Um, good. Peanut butter. Yeah, a jar of peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at this. A jar. Okay, a jar of peanut butter. This is going to be a little different. Okay, then a can, though it may look like a can, okay, it's can shaped. What is the main difference between a can and a jar? What do you think, Lily? Uh, a jar is, um, uh, can I? Uh, he, uh, it has, um, uh, how do I call this? <laughs> this right yes. here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it has a lid. It yeah. has a lid or a twist top, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Could be the material. Okay. And it can be like... it can be in uh, plastic and okay. also in a uh, glass. Okay, good. Yeah, Rosie it was uh, pointing that out as well. Okay, mm -hmm. the material used. Okay. Yes. Uh, jars are typically going to be glass. Or plastic. Plastic. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what other type of uh, items can we uh, can we purchase in a jar? Jam. Jam. Okay. Cherries. A uh, cherries. Good. Let's see here. Okay, so uh, jam. Okay, cherries. What else? Let's see. You can buy pickles. If you guys mm -hmm, like yeah. pickles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey. Yeah. Honey. Yeah, honey can be in a jar. Okay. Cookies. Uh, what's that? Cookies. Cookies. Yeah, you can buy a <laughs> jar of cookies. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, definitely definitely right. Okay, so uh, difference here is the the material used. Okay, glass or plastic. Uh, glass or plastic, and then uh, it has a lid up on top. Okay, and the lid either twists. Okay, or it's uh, it's one that would kind of pop right off. Okay, so you could uh, it would close, but it has a, a removable top. Okay, that is going to be a jar. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Let's go to our next one, number seven, and this is for Rosie. Uh, box is um, box of this dish detergent. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. A box of dish detergent. Let's okay. See. 
Well, let's see. Um, there's another one that would be even better. Um. What do you see that would be even better? It would be a meal for the morning time. What do you think, Rosie? Uh, I don't know. What's the boat of... Uh, um... Let me help you out here. Cereal. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> Box of cereal. Okay, and all these different cereals here, okay? Uh, so, yes, um, this would be a box of cereal, okay? Uh, plural is boxes, okay? And uh, we add an, yeah. only an uh, uh, ES at the end. Boxes of cereal, okay? Now, um, cereal comes in two forms. Okay? You can buy boxes of cereal, but you can also buy them in what other form? What other form would cereal come in? Uh, bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bag. Okay, good. A bag of cereal. Okay, oatmeal comes in bags. Sometimes other cereals, you can get uh, like Cheerios or whatnot in a bag. Okay, so yeah, so a bag of cereal. Now, uh, Janet, cereal okay, is spelled uh, with a C. E R E A L. Okay. The other cereal would be like a serial murderer. Okay. Someone who does something over and over again. Okay. So, like okay. a serial murderer uh, or a serial killer. Okay. Uh, so that that's that's the other cereal. So don't get those confused. Okay. But if you say the word cereal and you're talking about, yeah, I'm going to grab a bowl of cereal or eat a bowl of cereal we know that you you are meaning the the food and not the uh, um, you know the action of doing something over and over again okay so uh, being a repeat uh, doer of something okay uh, very good okay and our last one this is for uh, Xavier Uh, uh, number eight, please. I think is a uh, letter C, detergent, dish detergent. Yeah, so dish detergent, bottle of dish detergent. Okay. Okay, we would also call that dish soap. Okay, a bottle oh. of dish soap. Okay, now what other things can we buy in a bottle? Oil. What's that? Oil. Oil, okay. So, yeah, we have some oil here, olive oil, okay, canola oil, vegetable oil. Okay, what else can we buy in a bottle? Wine. Wine. Ah, I thought that was going to be the first one. I, I totally thought yeah. it was going to be the first one. Um, but yeah. someone said oil first. So, yeah, I thought, I thought the whole class was going to say wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yes. Uh, okay, so uh, oil, wine, what else? What else can we buy in a bottle? Soda, ketchup. Soda, yeah, ketchup. A bottle of ketchup, mustard. Beer. Beer, beer bottles, yeah, good, okay, all right, now bottles are, 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 are like jars, okay, bottles are like jars, they can be plastic, okay, they can also be uh, glass, okay, but it would, it would all still be a bottle, okay, and, it, and all the bottles usually take this form, okay, they're going to be long, Okay, long and, and uh, sort of tall. Okay, even if they're small, okay, we would still call this like a bottle of soap. Okay, okay, a bottle of soap. Okay, things like that. So, so yeah, there's there's a lot of different uh, different um, items that we can purchase that are in a bottle. Okay, very good. Any questions so far, you guys? So, is that mean we can use all of those just for non-countable noun? 
Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Any other uh, any other questions? Yeah, I am. Um, sure. Uh, can you repeat uh, serial uh, uh, and c c serial? Okay, uh, I, they, I can't they're understand. pronounced. They're pronounced exactly the same. Um, okay. okay. Serial, serial, like this. Here, look on the screen. Serial, spelled like this, is uh, is something we eat. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Okay, so cereal. Okay, this is something we eat. Mm -hmm. All right. The other cereal. Okay. Now, um, uh, Janet, do you like TV? Do you watch TV? Yes, I can. What uh, What TV shows do you like to watch? Um, uh, the Walking Dead. <laughs> ah, okay. So The Walking Dead. Okay. Have you seen a TV show called Dexter? Uh, yes, uh, okay. I was. All right, Dexter is a killer. Uh, is a serial killer. He is a serial killer. All right. Yeah. So Dexter is a serial killer. This is one of my favorite shows. All right. <laughs> so do you see the difference? Okay. Uh, one with the C right here. This is the food we eat. Okay. Oh. The one that you wrote, uh, S E R I A L. That is like a serial killer. Okay. Okay, a serial killer like Dexter. Mm -hmm. Okay. All Sorry. right, you guys. Okay. Let's uh, let's scroll up and uh, go to our dialogue. Okay, and this here is a short one, so we'll read uh, one line each, uh, starting with. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Amparo. Uh, please read the first line. I'm out of sugar and flour. I'm going to the grocery store. Can I get anything for you? Good. Now this would be instead of sugar and flour, this is sugar and flour. Sugar oh. and flour. Good. There you go. Okay. Um, John Ed, let me have you read the next line, please. Anna here. Uh, yes. Um, oh, let me think. Uh, uh, I need some bread. Good. Jose, please continue. How much do you want? All right. And Jung Woon, please continue. I'd like two loaves. Okay, that would be l loaves. Give l me a good L there. Loaves. There you go. Nice. Lily, please continue. Do you need anything else? Okay, Rosie, next line. No, I think that's all. Do you want me to pay you now? Okay, Vincenzo, please continue. No, that's okay. You can pay me when I get back. Okay, and Xavier, please read uh, the uh, last two lines there. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, are there any words or phrases you do not understand in this dialogue? Nope. No, it's okay. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's uh, take a look at the black, uh, the bold black words here. Okay, so we're going to uh, analyze them and and uh, and read some uh, some other ways of saying these phrases. Okay, Amparo, um, let's start with you. Please read this uh, first group of sentences. I'm out of sugar and flour. I don't have any sugar and fl or flour. I need some sugar on flour. Good. Okay. So when you do not have something, we usually say, I'm out I'm of. Out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm out of. This is very, very common. Okay. So uh, I'm out of paper. Okay. The printer is out, out of told. paper. I, I am out of. Okay. I am. Yeah. I am out of. I do not have or the item does not have something. Okay, so my my computer is out of battery. Okay, it's out of. That's how we use that. It does not have any more power in its battery. Okay, so when we're talking about uh, making a grocery list, okay, uh, you would go, hmm, let me think. What am I out of? What am I out of? I need uh, I need bread. 
Um, I don't have this. I don't have that. Okay. Um, I'm out of these items. Okay. So that's how we use that phrase. It's a, it's a, it's a really common phrase for us to use. Okay. Yes. Genre, it means uh, don't have. I'm out of. Okay. Or out of just, uh, just by itself. Okay, you can use out of okay with uh, with other items. Okay, so like for example, your printer at work may be out of paper. Okay, it does not have paper. <coughs> Instead of saying it doesn't have, we say it's out of. Okay, so it's the same thing when we are creating a uh, a grocery list. Okay, we would use that uh, phrasal verb. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Janet. And let me have you read the next group here. Okay, starting with I need some. Right here, please. Janet, make sure that you are not muted. Okay, let's go to Jose. Please read that list of uh, of words. Yes, I need some bread. I need some eggs. I need some peanut butter. I need some toothpaste. I need some soap. I need some tune. I need some cereal. I need some this deter detergent. Okay, good. Now. Um, yes, we can say I need. Okay. Um, is there any other way that you guys can think of saying I need? I have to buy. I have to buy. Good. Okay. Yeah, I have to. Okay. I have to or I have to buy. I would okay. have. Um, how uh, uh, say that one more time? I would have. Uh, I would have. Um, that would be m more more like a conditional sense. We wouldn't use would there. Okay. Um, you could say uh, I might need. Okay. So if you are you are unsure and you're creating your list, you can say I might need some some more toilet paper. Okay, I don't know if we're out. Okay, I'll check. And then if I if I don't have it, I'll add it to my list. Okay, I might need this. Okay, or when you're in the uh, in the grocery store, uh, you could also uh, say that uh, I might need some sugar. I can't remember. I'll get it anyway. Okay. Um, uh, another way to say this is uh, I gotta get. Okay, I gotta get or I need to get. Okay. Or could I say bring me some bread? Uh, we would not use bring me. Oh. Okay, uh, that would that would be a, a different use. Okay, it would have a different me meaning. Now, if you are telling someone. Okay, if you're if you're hanging out, you're watching you're watching a football game or whatever, and uh, your friend goes to the store and they say, "Hey, I'm going to the store to get uh, to get some gum. Do you want anything?" Yeah, uh, bring me a coke. Okay, so we would say bring me a coke if uh, if you want someone to bring something back from the store. But if you are going, you would not use bring. Okay, bring. Uh, we would use that sort of as a command form. Okay, in telling something to uh, to bring you something or to get you something. Okay, that's and how they, we would use bring. What's that? Take. Take. Take, take some uh, a coke. Um. In, in what sense? How how are you looking to use that? Um. When. When I go to the supermarket and and take for me uh, a kind of coke. Okay, so you would use buy. Buy. Okay. okay. So buy if you are if you are talking about uh, drinking it afterwards. Okay. Um, then then you would say drink. 
okay, instead of uh, uh, take, okay. Um, uh, now, Xavier, where uh, Xavier, where are you from? From Spain. From Spain, yeah. So taking the the verb tomar, sí. all right. Um, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't use that in the same way. You can't translate that exactly. So you would use buy if you are going to purchase it from the store, okay. And if you are uh, going to drink it afterwards, okay. You instead of to take, you would use drink. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good though. All right. Um, good. Let's uh, let's see. So yeah, we can say I gotta get. Okay. I gotta get some eggs. I gotta get. You know this, that. Okay, you can say that, or I need. Okay, any of those words are just fine. Okay, uh, all right. Let's go to our next one, and uh, this is for uh, Jung Moon. Yes. And here. Okay. This uh, mm -hmm. next next three uh, three questions, please. Can I get any? Uh, can I get anything for you? Do you need anything? Would you like me to pick up anything for you? Good. Okay. So we use this uh, we, when we are looking to do a favor for someone. Okay. A favor. Um, so, uh, so Jung Woon, I'm going to the store. Uh, do you need anything? Okay. So uh, you could say, yeah, I could. I can use some. All right. So if you are, uh, if you do need something, you could say, "I could use some." Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, whatever it is that you need, I could use some deodorant. Okay. Okay. I could use uh, uh, toothpaste, or I could use um, um, uh, a new uh, a new hand soap. Okay, what whatever it is. Okay, you could also say uh, bring. You could say sure. Uh, bring me some gum. Okay, whatever. Uh, Chad. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the uh, the meaning, the exact meaning. I could use some. Name. Okay. I have no toothpaste or. Um. It, it. You. You are saying I could. Okay, it's a possibility that uh, that I could uh, need some more of a certain item. I could use. So instead of saying, uh, "Yeah, I, I need this," uh, can you get this for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a it's a so the long way is, huh? I need some shampoo. Could you buy that for me? Okay, that's the long version. We would shorten that down and say, "Yes, I could use some shampoo." Okay, which means that uh, I need this. Okay, and at the same time, you're asking them to buy it for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's that mm -hmm. phrase. Okay, um, um, and uh, I yes, Rosie. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the last uh, question that that says, "Would you like me to pick up anything for you?" Sure. Uh, could be some uh, some polite. It's polite. Uh, yes, that's very very polite. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, that would be a, a polite form. Would you like me to pick anything up for you? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So uh, you may you may use that if you are in the office or if you have a very polite relationship. Now, with my brother, me and me and my brother, we're best friends. I'd say, hey, dude, you need anything? Ah, uh, okay. 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 Yes. All right. Thank so you. that yeah, that's how we would say that. You need anything? Okay, or you want me to get you anything? Okay, so let me write that one in there. You want me to get you anything? Okay, very slangy. Okay, you want me to get you anything? Okay, so oh, okay. Uh, same same type of same type of question. Can I get anything for you? Okay, you want me to get you anything? Okay, same means the exact same thing, but it's just a little bit more more friendly, a little bit more down to earth. Okay, that's how we would use that. Okay. Okay. Good yeah. question. Very good. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Lily. Yeah. Um. The uh, next uh, next group of uh, sentences. Okay. 
I need some bread. I'm out of bread. I don't have any bread. I'd like some bread. Could you get me some bread? Okay. Now, um, uh, I used a, uh, a form of this when I said I could use some. Uh, did they have uh, I could use? Nope, they don't. Uh, so, yeah, you could say I'm out of bread. I don't have any. Yeah, could you get me some? All right. Um, instead of saying could you get me some, I could use some. All right, and that would get rid of uh, some of these words here in the middle. All right, but any of these uh, – uh, would work. You could also say bring. If you have a, a, a very um, a very friendly relationship with the person, okay, you could say, yeah, uh, bring me a, a Snickers bar. Okay, you could just flat out tell them to tell them to do it, and it, you're not being a, a, a jerk. You're not commanding them. Okay, it's a, it's more you know just yeah, this is what I want. Bring it to me. Okay, and that's okay to say that you're not uh, you're not being rude. Okay. Do you mind breed me, for example? Mm -hmm. Do you mind breed me? Yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. Do you mind uh, bringing this for me? That mm -hmm. would be fine. Now, so for example, um, even though uh, Amparo has come to many of my many of my classes, okay, um, let's say that uh, that I go and I, I visit her and my and, and her family. I bring my family over and we we have a uh, a party. Okay, and uh, Ambato is going to the store. Okay, even though she's come to my classes, all right, and let's say that our whole conversation was in English, and she says, uh, Chad, I'm going to the store. Uh, do you want me to get you anything? It would not be right for me to say, uh, Yeah, bring me this. Okay, it would not be right yet. Okay, until we have a little bit more f uh, familiar relationship. Okay, uh, so uh, I would say, uh, sure. Um, can you bring me uh, uh, whatever? Okay, from from the store. Okay, that would be uh, uh, because of our relationship. Even though we know each other, okay, uh, we haven't spent time uh, with each other, and we don't know each other that well. Okay, but like I said, my brother is like my best friend. Okay, and I would say, dude, get me this. All right, and it's okay. So there, you see the difference there. It's kind of a uh, um, in uh, in most uh, most languages you have a formal and informal way. We do as well. It's just not as um, pronounced as uh, as it is in other languages. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, uh, good. Any uh, any questions so far? No. Okay. Um, very good. Let's go to uh, Rosie. So, Rosie, um, this uh, next uh, next question here. How much? Is, is how much? Uh huh. Okay. How much do you want? How much do you need? How much should I get? Good, good. Yeah. So, uh, any other ways of asking that that you could think of? I don't know. <laughs> No, these these cover it pretty pretty uh, pretty uh, well, right? Yeah. So if you say uh, I'm going to the store, can I get you anything? Uh, yeah, I need some bread. Okay, how much do you want? Okay, this would probably be yes. the most typical. How much do you want? Okay, or how much do you need? Any any of those uh, would be would be fine. Okay, there's no. There's not really any other way of saying that, but this is a very typical, uh, typical response, okay? And you're looking for uh, uh, an amount, a quantity. That's when our vocabulary words down below, okay? That's when these uh, these come in handy. All right, let's uh, let's go over these here. Uh, let's go to Vincenzo. Uh, please read mm -hmm. our next ones here, please. I'd okay. like. I'd like two loaves. I need two dozen. I need one jar. I need one tube. I need three bars. I need two small cans. I need one box. I need one large bottle. Very good. Now, you can definitely add adjectives in there. Large, small, okay. Um, and, uh, and, you know, the quantity of what you are looking for. 
Okay, but yes, knowing uh, uh, knowing these uh, these different uh, um, items for quantities would be important. Okay, instead of calling it a bag of bread, we do call it a loaf. All right, knowing that uh, yes, the bread comes in a bag, but yeah, we call that a uh, a loaf of bread instead of a bag of bread. Okay, so yeah, these are the words that we would use. Okay, and uh, I'd I'd like. Okay, I need. Uh, you can also say get me. Okay, if you have a friendly relationship with someone. Okay, uh, get me two loaves. Okay, get me two loaves if you could. Okay, something like that. And that uh, that would be a way to uh, uh, a way to say that. Okay, I'd like get me. All right, I need. All right, um, they all mean the same thing. It just depends on your relationship with the person. Okay, yes, Jung Moon, bring me as well. Okay, that uh, that that familiar one I've said uh, uh, a few times now. Okay, bring me. All right, uh, let's go to Xavier. Okay, um, let me have you read these next two. Okay, so do you need anything else? And uh, no. Okay, go ahead and read those, please. Do you need anything else? No, I think that's all. Is that everything? That's everything. Is that all? That's it. Okay, very good. Now, um, one that I say is uh, anything else? All I say is this last little bit. Uh, anything else? Yeah, so, and you say that with a question mark at the end. Anything else? So here as my voice goes up, anything else? Okay, so I don't say this big long part at the beginning. Do you need no. anything else? No, anything else, I cut it down. All right, um, I would also say nothing else. Okay, but as a nothing else. Okay, so anything else and nothing else, okay, would mean, uh, mean similar things. All right, so if they're, you're, you're going to get something, someone wants uh, you to purchase something, uh, as you're walking out, uh, as you're... Right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was using Hangouts and it kicked me out. Yes. My my internet's fine. Um, okay. So um, yeah. So anything else? That's a, that's probably the most typical way uh, uh, to say that. Okay. Instead of uh, do you need anything else. Yes, Rosie. Uh, yes. Um, I would like to ask you something. For sure. example, if I go to the grocery store. Uh -huh. And the seller uh, asked me uh, how I can ask, uh, how can I make a question? For example, I was wondering if I could have two loaves. How can I make a question to the seller in the grocery store? Okay, so uh, um, if you are, if you don't know where they are are at, okay, and we'll yes. go over this a bit tomorrow. I'm going to go uh, tomorrow. We're going to go through uh, shopping at a grocery store as well. So, okay, so this would be. Um, uh, can you tell me where the uh, loaves of bread are? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Can you tell me where the loaves of bread are? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Or, um, uh, where's the bread? Okay. Where's the bread? And they may say, the um, uh, what type of bread are you looking for? Oh, just the regular sandwich bread, okay? So okay. bread for sandwiches that's already pre-cut, the regular sandwich bread. Like, oh, okay, well, it's over here, and they would guide you to where, where it's at. So where's Very the close. bread, or can you tell me where the loaves of bread are, okay? Yes, so because those, we, those don't, are we don't uh, know the other person, so I didn't know how can I make a question mm -hmm. in order not to sound so formal or formal, I don't know. Yeah, so if uh, uh, a lot of times at uh, at grocery stores, you'll have uh, you'll have uh, uh, older uh, older people, okay, uh, that are yes. working there, okay. You may also have teenagers that are working yeah. there. So if it's a teenager, I'd go, hey, excuse me, uh, where's the bread at? Okay, okay, or where's the bread? 
All right. Um, if it's uh, someone that uh, that's uh, a bit older and uh, and I want to show a little bit more respect to, uh, excuse me, uh, can you tell me where the bread is? Uh, okay. Or where the loaves of bread are? Okay. So yeah. um, it it just depends on the situation and who you're talking to. Okay. Yes. So yeah. So uh, the first one I wrote is formal. The second one is informal. Hmm. Okay, makes sense. Uh, other situation, um, uh -huh. when when we go to a restaurant and the uh, waitress say, "Shall I need anything else?" Uh, do you need Sorry. anything else? Uh, do you need? Okay. Do you need? Anything else? Uh, can I help you with it, with anything more? Okay. Chai don't doesn't doesn't uh, do. Uh, uh, sh do. Are you saying should I? Chai I. Yeah. Um. Because. No. Uh, no. Shall I? <laughs> sorry, uh, Janet. My I. The the P and the O are right next to each other. The word is help. But my fingers are retarded, and they don't do what I want them to do. So, and this is not the only time I I consistently spell help, hello. Mm. So the word is actually help. It was my fault. I uh, I typed it in wrong. My my bad. Sorry, Janet. Um, okay. So, um, mm. all right. So using should I should I or shall I? Shall I is a very old word to use. Okay. You'll find the word shall in uh, in religious text. Things like that. Okay, um, even uh, the older generation now they they do not say shall. Okay, um, and you could say um, we instead we would probably you should. Um, uh, you could say, uh, uh, do you need anything else? Okay, do you need anything else? If they say no, okay, uh, you could say, um, all right, uh, I should. Uh, no, still even then. Uh, you you would say I'll uh, I'll just wait for uh, for you to call me over then, okay? I'll instead of I will, okay? Instead of uh, um, should, okay? Because should is more of a um, you know you're asking them more of a question um, after after you ask if they need any any help, okay? You would say okay, well I will do this, okay? It's more definite. Okay. Does that does that uh, make sense, or are you still a little confused on that? No, but uh, in, in other situations, we listen up that uh, uh, use show we dance, for example. Okay. If uh, if you um, if you go up to uh, well, shall we dance? Some women might take that as uh, as as cute. Okay, if you say, shall we dance? All right, and uh, I mean, they may look at that as cute, all right, or uh, or uh, or funny or whatnot, okay? And if you have the dance moves, do it, okay? Um, uh, because then, then it's even better, okay? Score, it's awesome, okay? Um, so they may look at that as cute and being, uh, being funny, okay? But really, we do not say that word, okay? Uh, you would ask, uh, do you want to dance with me? Okay, that's how you would ask it. Do you? And again, my typing fingers. So, do you want to dance with me? Okay. Okay, that's that's how you would ask that. But if you are a fabulous dancer, like most Latin people are, I cannot dance. So, me saying "Shall we dance?" would sound horrible uh, because then it's just uh, it's terrible. Yeah. So, if you are a great dancer. Okay, and uh, you go up to a lady, especially if you say it in a in a Spanish accent. Okay, and she's American, you'll win her over, hundred percent. Yes, you'll you'll kill her, you'll kill her with it, and uh, yeah, it'll be great. So yeah, I I would highly suggest that. Okay, if you are at a dance club uh, in the United States or whatnot, okay, and you go up to a lady and say, "Shall we dance?" All right, and you're a really good dancer. 
perfect. <laughs> perfect. All right. Very good, you guys. Okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow we'll be going over um, uh, going to a grocery store. Okay, and shopping things like that. So we'll go. We'll go over the second half of this, uh, and I believe I'm going to be able to do it in the the morning time. I should be. Uh, yeah. So we'll probably do it at um, either my time nine or eleven o'clock. It may be about an hour later um, tomorrow because of my hours. So that's what uh, that's what we're looking at. Okay, you guys. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see ya. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.